Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I'm going to show you how to identify aphids, huge infestation on some of my squash plants, my winter squash plants. First key is to identify the insect. Then I'm going to show you how to use peppermint oil spray. I sell peppermint oil at my seed shop. Comes in those two ounce bottles. Two ounces will make gallons and gallons of the peppermint oil spray. I also use Castile type soap. It's a clean soap, which means there's no detergents or anything in there. If you're going to use detergents like dish soap, you want to use less. I'll talk about that in a second. But let's go find those aphids to show you the before and after and using peppermint oil to control that. Aphids can get on most of your garden plants. And before you start spraying, you want to really take a look at them, uh, at the leaves, and identify what the problem is. Here are aphids. I'll zoom in and magnify too. Aphids all along there. This is a huge, really, infestation. Let's get the camera out of the way. You can see them all up here. I mean, look at that. That is insane. Now, we've had crazy weather crazy heat, humidity. Um, I think some insects that may have been dining on aphids aren't around right now for whatever reason, so they're taking over the garden. I think they've killed off my acorn squash. thought that was from the vine borer, but the aphids are working their way over to my butternut squash, and you can see them on the leaves. So you're going to want to spray the tops and the bottoms of the leaves of the plants that have the infestation. And I would also spray the surrounding leaves. And it's pretty straightforward. Let me just talk about the formula or the mix. I also uh, have a book out called Modern Homestead Gardening. The recipe for peppermint oil spray is in there along with other organic treatments. I use a one or two gallon container. I mark it oil so that I'm always putting oil into there. Mark the half gallon, the one gallon. So it's a gallon of water and one or two teaspoons of peppermint oil. I use two teaspoons now regularly. You can get by with just using one teaspoon. And then if you're using the Castile soap, the pure soaps, um, Dr. Bronner is one type of Castile type, I use one or two tablespoons. If you're gonna use detergent soap, stuff for dishes, and it'll say on there detergents, start with one teaspoon. You're just putting in enough soap so that when you shake this, the oil disperses through the mix for a good 10 seconds, and then every 10 seconds, give it a shake. You don't want the oil to stay floating on top because you'll just end up spraying water. One tip is put the water in first because if you put in the soap first, you try and put it in the water, it just foams everywhere and it's problematic. So, start down here at the bottom. Actually, let me give it a shake because it's been sitting there. Good enough. And then spray the tops of the leaves. I mean, look at all the aphids up in there. Spray the undersides. Now, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how the peppermint oil really works on treating this section right in here get up under there. Usually I say wash them off with a hose. They're soft body insects. I actually just saw something fly away. That's probably the insect that's laying the eggs. But you want to just soak it down really well just like that. Peppermint oil goes a long way in one gallon for treating your plants. This is what I use on my cucumber plants on my bean plants and it's really allowed them to thrive and do well. I stopped spraying, today's August 30th, I stopped spraying my garden pretty much back in the middle of July so things have gotten out of hand. So that's the basic treatment is just get under there, I think I forgot that one, soak down the aphids. If you think about it, the peppermint oil can kind of burn our eyes if we smell the vapors or the vapors get into our eyes. Imagine what it does to a tiny insect. It may not specifically kill them, Although the soap can dehydrate them, so you got the soap in there, and then the peppermint oil really irritates them. And when we come back tomorrow morning, most of these should be gone. Okay, here we are just about 24 hours later, and you can see a lot of the aphids are gone. Now, it's only been 24 hours. There's still some on there. You can see the black, darker parts are dead aphids. This one was really covered. So there's a couple ways to do this. I've talked before when you come out and you have aphids, you can spray them off with water. They're soft bodied. Once they get knocked down, they can't make their way back up here. And then you could put down your peppermint spray. 
Nowadays, I like to spray everything and hit all the aphids with the peppermint oil, soapy water mix, and then wait 24 hours. And then I come back and just firmly spray everything down and rinse off anything that is dead, anything that is weak. And then I would wait for this to dry and you could do this 24 hours later. The peppermint oil soapy water spray won't harm your plant with this mixture, but test spray. Or you could wait 48 hours, and then when they're dry, let's pretend that the leaves over here are the dry ones of that area. So the infested area, you sprayed your peppermint oil spray, you waited 24 hours, you rinsed them off. You would hit it again with your peppermint oil spray and just coat any aphids that are still left around there. And then after this, I just let this dry. Like I just use the water to get rid of the big infestation. Come back, spray, this will dry. Two or three days later, you could hit it one more time with the peppermint oil spray, but that should get your infestation under control. I really recommend the peppermint oil, even rosemary oil, combination of both. I sell them at my seed shop. If you don't want to buy them there, make sure you're buying 100% essential oils. You don't want um, anything but the oil. Sometimes you'll see stuff that'll say extract or something like that. You want the pure oil. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and peppermint oil is a great way to control soft-bodied insects on cucumbers, beans, squash and zucchini and other places in your garden.